What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about flags. Not this flag. Not this flag. Not this flag. Not this flag. But this flag, yep, flag in actions, covered by the 600-8-2. Now the reason I'm covering this regulation is because I hear and read about this question a lot. What happens when a soldier gets flagged? On other videos, I have covered what happens when you are flagged for APFT, but on this video, I wanted to give you the actual regulation. I have seen some folks argue about flagging actions when it comes to entering competition, receiving trophies, receiving awards. Flagging action is not regulated by the 600-8-22, which is the regulation that governs military awards, but rather the 600-8-2, which is the suspension of favorable personnel actions, flags, not this flag this flag. But if you want to get cute, paragraph 117, a military award clearly states that individuals whose favorable action has been suspended cannot be recommended for nor receive an award during the time of suspension. And for awards, it also covers decorations and badges. Remember, this is a suspension of favorable actions. Paragraph 2-1, actions prohibited by flag. It also includes promotions, lateral promotions, advancements, and frocking. Not a frog, frock. In some instances, it also covers transfers between units and between states. It's getting dark in here. Government-sponsored travel, re-enlistments, bonuses, and attendance to military and civilian education. This is a suspension of favorable actions. I hear arguments that local commander has the authority to determine whether or not a soldier received uh, recognition or some type of favorable action. Or I also heard the argument that the state regulation on awards uh, trumps the federal regulation on awards, and it doesn't. This is not an award regulation. This is a suspension of favorable actions. If you are the soldier that's flagged, to avoid all of this, become unflagged. Be a satisfactory participant in your unit, and you don't have to worry about what applies to you and what does not apply to you. If you are a senior leader, if you are a leader of soldiers, you should become very familiar with the regulation as it has changed over the past couple of years, and it has removed certain criteria for flagging a soldier or recommending a soldier to be flagged, and has added additional categories for which a soldier can be flagged for. Don't use flag in action as a punishment tool, but rather a corrective measure tool where a soldier can be tracked in a formal system so they can meet or exceed the standard. This is such a negative video. Avoid flags and you don't have to worry about any of these issues. Whoa, whoa, hang in there. Before you leave, make sure you check me out on social at part time first sergeant with a hashtag drill weekend. And also, don't forget to check out my other videos over here. Check, just pick one of these. It's pretty cool. I mean, I liked it. I mean, I was, I, was, I was in it. I mean, spoiler alert, I teach you something.